English speaking course. Phrasal verb. Lesson one. A check. Last night, my husband took me out for dinner and a movie. My husband would never do that. Bob always lets me down. How is your husband these days? He's still like that. He's always thinking about work and making money. Hang in there. I don't think that is bad. He must earn a lot of money.、Mm. Yes, but he's extremely stingy. How stingy is he? He hides his money very carefully. He rarely spends it on our households, the kids, me, not even himself. Okay, now that's kind of weird. No matter how much money he earns, he just keeps it, saves it, and never uses it. He loves his money more than anything. Calm down. No, I can't. I get annoyed every time I think about it. Okay, fine. Just tell me. Last Saturday, we were on our way home, and his car broke down. He decided to walk instead of taking a taxi. Is it near your house? Almost one hour walk. I was wearing high heels at the time. Why didn't you take a taxi home alone? I forgot my wallet. How could he do that to you? Going home by taxi isn't too expensive. There is more. It was 11 p.m. one night. A burglar broke into our house. My husband saw him, then the burglar quickly took $10 from the table and ran away. Bob chased him five kilometers only to get the $10 back. Really? Yes. Did Bob get that $10 back? The burglar was so tired he gave up and returned $10 to Bob. Wow, he really did it. In entire 10 years together, I almost never saw him buying anything new. He acts as if when he passed away, he could carry money with him. I give in if he really thinks so. Linda, I'm here. When I pass away, I want to be buried with all my money. I want to bring them to the afterlife. Oh, Bob. When I was young, there were days when only sleep could help me forget about hunger. When I grow up, I still went through a lack of money issues myself. In the first days of working as an employee, I used to cycle two hours a day to work. I stayed up late for three months to run sales and think about how to sell. Please bury me with all my money. Only then can I close my eyes and leave this world. Are you sure about that? Please, Linda. I will have a good life with my money after I pass away. Okay, Bob, as you wish. Linda, yes. At the funeral, you put a suitcase inside Bob's coffin. What is that? Bob wanted to take all his money with him when he passed away. Did you really take all of Bob's money and put it in his coffin? Yes. Really? I promised him, so I did. Unbelievable. Well, actually, I transferred all of Bob's money into my account. Then I wrote a check with the face value of that money and put it in his coffin. Lesson two: We are divorcing. Hi, Josh. Dad. Hey, what are you doing? I'm warming up before working out. 
It's 6 a.m. Why you call so early? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't call you at this time. No, I didn't mean that. What's wrong, Dad? How are you these days? I'm great, Dad. You said you work in the design department, right? Yes, I'm the head of design department now. I manage artists and graphic designers. That's great. Do you like your job? Yeah, I love it. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. So, what were you calling me about? You and your sister haven't been back for a long time. I'm sorry. I'm too busy. I have something important to tell you. Okay, Dad, tell me. We had an argument. You and Mom? Yes. So I slept over at Uncle Joe's house last night. And I thought back to the past. I decided to divorce her. Wait! What? No! She also agreed. We're going to court for a divorce. No, wait! Don't do it, Dad! You two rarely argue. So why? That's just what you think. The truth is we argued a lot. I don't think I can put up with her anymore. What did you two argue about? She always looks down on me. And so many other problems. I'm so tired. Dad, we will solve this problem together, okay? No, son. I thought it over before making my final decision. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Help me tell Stacy about this. See you. Dad, wait, Dad! Hey Josh, it's 6.20 a.m. Why you call so early? They broke up. Who broke up? Dad and mom. What? Mom and dad will divorce? What are you talking about? Who tells you that? Dad just called me to say he couldn't put up with mom anymore. They've decided to get a divorce. Why so suddenly? Last month they were still fine. Are you sure? Well, I guess. I was so busy. I haven't called them for a long time. Yeah, we haven't visited them for a long time either. So this happened without us both knowing about it? Last Christmas, instead of staying with them, I went on a trip with my friends. This summer, they asked us to get together and have a barbecue at the beach. But I refused because I went on holiday with my company. I also didn't join in. How long has it been since our family got together? I can't even remember anymore. That's why we know nothing about their problems. They can't get a divorce. We have to do something. Let's visit them and solve this problem together. You're right, Stacy. Thanksgiving is coming this weekend. I will arrange my work to come home with them. Me too. I'll call Dad right now. Hi, Dad. It's me, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Dad, listen. I'm sorry that I haven't visited you and Mom recently. Anyway, Josh and I will visit you this Thanksgiving. Let's have dinner. We can resolve all the problems together, okay? We have nothing to resolve anymore. You and Mom can't divorce. Don't do it. No, don't even do anything until we come home this weekend. Hmm. Promise, Dad? Whatever. See you. <laughs> they are coming this Thanksgiving. Great. So what will we tell them at Christmas, honey? Let's review the phrasal verbs that appear in this video. Lesson 1. 1. Take somebody out. Pay for somebody to go somewhere with you. Example. Last night, my husband took me out for dinner and a movie. Number two, let somebody down. To disappoint someone by failing to do what you agreed to do or were expected to do. Example, Bob always lets me down. Number three, hang in, stay positive. Example, 
Hang in there. That's not bad either. Number four, calm down. To stop feeling upset, angry, or excited, or to stop someone feeling this way. Example, you need to calm down. Number five, break down. If a machine or a vehicle breaks down, it stops working. Example, last Saturday, we were on our way home and his car broke down. Number six, break into something. To enter a building or car to steal something. Example, last month, a burglar broke into our house. Number seven, run away. Leave unexpectedly. Escape. Example, my husband saw him and he quickly took $10 from the table and ran away. Number eight, get something back. Receive something you had before to obtain something again after loss or separation. Example, Bob chased him five kilometers only to get $10 back. Number nine, give up. Stop trying. Example, the burglar was so tired, he gave up and returned $10 to Bob. 10, pass away to die. Example, he acts as if when he passed away, he could carry money with him. Number 11, give in. Cease fighting or arguing and surrender. Example, I give in to his stinginess. Number 12, go through. Undergo a difficult period or experience. Example, until I grow up, I also went through a lack of money issues myself. Number 13, stay up. To go to bed later than usual. Example, I stayed up late for three months to run sales and think about how to sell. Lesson two. Number one, warm up. Prepare body for exercise. Example, I'm warming up before working out. Number two, work out. Exercise. Example, I'm warming up before working out. Number three, sleep over. Stay somewhere for the night. Example, I slept over at Uncle Joe's house that night. Number four, think back to. Remember. Example, and I thought back to the past. Number five, put up with, tolerate. Example, I don't think I can put up with her anymore. Number six, look down on somebody. To feel that someone is less important than you or does not deserve respect. Example, she always looks down on me. Number seven, think something over. Consider something carefully. Example, I thought it over before making my final decision. Number eight, break up. If a marriage breaks up or two people in a romantic relationship break up, their marriage or their relationship ends. Example, mom and dad broke up. Number nine, get together, meet. Example, this summer they asked us to get together and have a barbecue at the beach. Number 10, join in. To become involved in an activity with other people. Example, I also didn't join in. What are you thinking about? I am thinking about the advantages and disadvantages of technology. Wow. What are the boons of technology, according to you? There are many inventions that have benefited human beings in many ways. Technology has brought the whole world into the palm of mankind. For example... Well, the invention of the computer, for example, has brought out a great change in our everyday life. Is that important in student life? 
Yes, of course. Such as, you can keep thousands of books, documents saved on your computer and can read them anytime, anywhere. With an internet connected computer, you can access lots of information and lessons for your studies. I agree. The invention of the computer and the internet has given our life a different pace. But you must admit that all these have been possible only for the invention of electricity. You're absolutely right. Electricity is undoubtedly the driving force of all modern civilization. Yeah. Anyway, do you think technology has any disadvantages? No. I don't think so. No? Hey, be careful! Are you okay? Yeah, we are okay. Oh, good. By the way, why haven't you been to the club lately? I am very busy recently. So will you go to the club tonight? Of course. I will come tonight. Great! See you tonight! Okay, see you. Who is he? Well, his name is Bruno. How do you know him? He and I join the same music club. You two seem pretty close to each other. He is very kind. He is also good at sports. I know. He looks very muscular. Yeah, he looks so active and healthy. So, you like sporty guys, right? Well, I do like looking at sporty and muscular guys. Oh, okay. What's wrong? No, nothing. Anyway, do you know about the butterfly effect? Wow! That sounds cool. Tell me more. Hey Terry, what are you doing? Well, I'm searching for a solution. Really? A solution for what? I'm having skin problems. You should try to use lotions or moisturizers to get rid of that. This skin makes me self-conscious. I look uglier. Well, at least you still have a fit body. Unlike me, I'm so fat. You don't look very fat. You don't need to comfort me. You know, Ginny only likes people who are fit and muscular. Did Ginny say that? Yes. She said she liked looking at sporty guys. What should I do now? She definitely won't like fat people like me. I see you and Ginny are very close. Ginny enjoys talking to you. She just sees me as her friend. I think I will change. Really? I'm going to the fitness club. I agree with you. Going to a fitness club helps you stay fit and healthy. You're right. But you will need to be hardworking and persistence. I can do that. Hey bro, everything is okay? Not quite. I had pain all over my body one week straight. What did you do at the gym? I lift weights. Do you go every day? Yes. Do you mean for the past week you've been lifting weights every day? Yeah. Oh my god. 
That's why you feel pain. Really? Oh no. So what should I do? I think you should spend at least three days of rigorous weight and strength training, followed by just one day of mild to moderate cardio and some abs exercises. Oh, I got it. What about the diet? Are you on a diet? To be honest with you, I can't go on a diet. I always crave food. If I don't eat, I will get dizzy. Oh God. I think you should give it up. It is very difficult to change your appearance when you are still eating a lot. No, I will not give up. I want to change. I want to be Jenny's type. Well, I think it's best to hire a trainer. I agree with you. I will hire a fitness trainer. Oh my God! I am not able to believe my eyes. Lucas? That's me. Look at you. After the summer, you have changed a lot. Well, as you said, I hired a fitness trainer. Yeah, that's right. My fitness trainer designed an exercise plan that's just right for me, and show me exactly what to do. We even include nutrition advance in the plan. Great, and that really paid off. Yeah, I feel more confident now. Besides, working out at the gym, do you play any other sports? I play basketball. I'm in the school basketball team now. Another surprise. Lucas, who used to hate playing sports, that is really a big change. Well, all that for the right one. It is true that love changes people, right? Don't make fun of me. Are you ready to confess your feelings to Ginny? Well, I'm not ready yet. Why? I'm kind of worried. Don't be. Attractive body, handsome face. If I were a girl, I'd say yes. Get confident. Thank you for your encouragement. Jenny is in the library. Go there and confess to her. I will do that. Best of luck. Hi, Jenny. Oh, Lucas. Hi. What did you do during summer vacation? Oh, I've been all over Europe. How about you? I worked out and joined the basketball team. Oh my gosh, that's great! Did you go to the basketball game on Friday? I wanted to go, but I couldn't. You should have been there. It was intense. Oh, really? Who won? My team did. We played really well. Nice. Congrats. Anyway, next Monday we have a game against Tiger High School. Will you come? All right. I'll arrange to come. Great. I will ask the organizers to let you sit in the front row. Thanks, Jenny. I have something to tell you. Yes, I have wanted to tell you this for a long time, but not until now that I have the confidence to say it. Jenny, I really like you. Will you be my girlfriend? 
Oh, Lucas, I'm sorry. Oh, so you have a boyfriend already? No, I don't. Actually, I used to like you very much. You like me? Used to? Yes, I love talking to you. Love your kindness. But I was so fat back then. I didn't care if you were fat or thin. But you said that you like the Bruno type. Oh no, looks like you misunderstood. I just said that I like to see people with strong muscular bodies. But you, you were my type. So that means you don't like me now? Lucas, listen. You look great now. You are confident and dynamic, but I don't feel the closeness like before. Oh no, what have I done? I like you when you are shy and timid. I would love to hear your science stories. Ginny? Hey bro, let's go to the basketball court. Oh my god, what are you doing? I'm snacking. Are you not dieting anymore? I don't diet anymore. What is happening? Ginny said she liked me when I was fat. So I will be Fat Lucas again. Oh no, Lucas. Calling for an ambulance. Can you make me a cup of coffee? Okay, honey, just a moment. Thank you. <gasps> Mary, what's wrong with you? Can you hear me? Oh no. 911 here. I need your help. Tell me the problem, sir. Something is wrong with my wife. She's lying on the floor. I need an ambulance coming right now. She's unconscious. Please, take a deep breath and calm down. Okay. May I have your location, sir? 117 Queen Street. We're at home. An ambulance will arrive shortly. What should I do until they arrive? Stay beside your wife, but don't move her. Okay, thank you. Please, hurry up. We try. Stay calm. In the beauty salon. Welcome to Lotus Beauty Salon. How can I help you, madam? I have some blackheads on my nose. Could you sit closer, miss? I'd like to see your skin clear. Sure. Can you suggest to me some treatment for it? I recommend facials and facial massage. Okay. First, we clean your face with a facial cleanser and gentle massage. Next to is to apply the scrub. Then apply the steam for about two to five minutes. We'll clear your face from the scrub and remove the blackhead. Great. And next? The next step is applying massage cream and doing facial massage. Finally is to apply a face pack. Let's do it. Facial massage will also help me relax. Please, follow me. Identifying lost items. What are you looking for? Oh, Jenny, I lost my engagement ring. How can you lose something so important? I'm very sure I had it on my finger this morning. Which places did you go to this morning? I went from home to work. Then I stopped at the cafe down the street. 
And now I'm here! Where is that cafe? Near our company. I should go back there. Let's try. What the ring looks like. I'll help you look for it around here. It's made of gold. My name and my fiancé's name are engraved on the inner side. Okay. I have to go now. Good luck. Oh no. Where is my key? What key? My car key. I think I lost it. Repairing cars. Hey, Tom, where are you? Hello, Linda. I'm in the car repair shop. Your car broke down again, right? Yes, it is. I knew it. I knew something was going to happen with your old car. Come on. I feel upset now. Okay. What's wrong with it this time? It works, then stops, and so on. And it's making a lot of strange noises. What did the mechanic say? He hasn't said anything yet. What is he doing then? Trying all different things to fix it. Okay. He's looking at me with his weird eyes. I'm sorry. You should buy a new car. The mechanic said I should buy a new car. I heard it. He's right. Tutoring the child. Zack? What's up? I failed my midterm math exam. I'm sorry about that. Do you think you need to join a remedial class? No, I hate remedial classes. My final term test is coming. Okay. Try your best. Can you help me? Helps what? I want to improve my math, but I can't do it by myself. Okay... so? Can you teach me math? You want me to tutor you in math? Yes, please. You know I hate math. But you're very good at math. Your math test score is always A or A+. Please? Okay... Where is your exercise book? Here you are! Thank you so much, Zack! Come here. Arranging a banquet. Good morning, ABC Restaurant. How can I help you? Hello, I'm going to arrange a banquet in your restaurant. That's our pleasure. May I have your name, please? Sure. I'm Angela Jolie. Thanks, Miss Jolie. How many people are you planning to invite? About 40 people. How much would you like to spend per person? I'd like to spend from 20 to $30 per person. Which style of restaurant would you like? French style, please. When will you hold the party? On this December 20. Is this a casual or formal party? A formal party, please. And I also would like some music in the French style at the party. Sure, we'll make it your entire satisfaction. In the art craft store. Hi, may I help you? Hello, I'm looking to buy a Christmas present for my friends. May I suggest you? Yes, please. Will the gifts be sent to male or female friends? Female friends. We have new bracelets. That's beautiful. The girls all love them. How much is it? It depends on the material of the bracelet. The fabric will be cheaper than the stone type. How much is the fabric bracelet? Seven to ten dollars. And the stone bracelet? 
at $20 a bracelet. All these were made by you, right? Yes, me and my sisters. You all are quite good with your hands. Thank you. I'll buy two fabric bracelets and two stone bracelets. Making the mistakes. Have you made any mistakes recently? Of course. What is it? Last week, I and my friends threw a party at home. They hand over the kitchen duty to me. I can guess what will happen. Yeah, I made the dessert a cake. I cooked it in the oven. I forgot about the dish because of playing the game on the phone. And the whole dessert burnt. What a shame! And you? What mistake did you make? I always said I was busy when my parents wanted to meet me. Last month, my father became seriously ill and passed away. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologized to him, but it was too late. No, your father will forgive you. He always wanted you to be happy. It's okay. <laughs> Lunch food. What will we eat for lunch? I was thinking of pizza. No pizza. Or burgers? Chicken burger, beef burger. No burger, no pizza, no fast food. So, what do you want to eat? I have no idea now. There's a new Chinese restaurant downtown. Let's check it out. I don't want to go out to eat. Shall we have lunch at home? Okay. What will we cook? How about southern pork salad? I like it. What about turkey carcass soup? Great. Let's do it. And chicken fried steak. I'm so hungry. I'm hungry too. Let's cook now. Agree. Do we have enough kitchen ingredients? Let me check. Your favorite city. What is your favorite city? Portland, of course. Why? Because I lived there as a child, and it will always be home to me. I didn't know you lived in Portland. It's like a small town where you are always close to nature. Even though it rains nine months out of the year, those three months of summer are bliss. Because everything is green and it's not too hot or humid. What is your favorite city, Andrew? I think Madrid is the most lovely. Really? Yeah, a lovely city. And the food is first class. What do you like there? Wine, I think. The wines are exceptional. The Med Sea there is awesome, too. If I have a chance to go to Spain, I will visit Madrid. Save the turtles. Oh my god, do you know that the turtles are endangered? Oh, really? I sometimes see some turtles, so I don't think they are endangered. Yes, I used to think that. But this morning, I watched a program about sea creatures. I was shocked by this information. How was that? They said that in the past 100 years, human demand for turtle meat, eggs, skin, and shells have reduced their populations. How awful it is. Right? And I think another reason is sea pollution. Exactly! Not only turtles are affected, but other sea creatures are also in danger. We must save the turtles. Well, the best and easiest way is to protect the marine environment. Everyone can do that. Everyone just needs to be conscious. Right. 
The perfect gift. I have received a perfect gift for my birthday yesterday. What is it? You look so happy when talking about it. Yeah, I love it so, so much. Is it very expensive? I think it's not expensive. It's priceless, but it's from a very special friend. Is this from your best friend in Australia? That's right. Can you guess what it is? I can't. It's her. What? Did she come back on your birthday? Right? I can't believe that. She was in front of my house on my birthday. I thought that she couldn't come home because she is studying abroad. How sweet she is. I cried when I saw her. It's the greatest gift. It seems like two of you haven't seen each other for a long time. About one year. We just to keep in contact via social media. That was great when she came back on your special day. A healthy lifestyle. Laura has a healthy lifestyle, doesn't she? Of course. I learned about her healthy lifestyle. Really? What does she do to lead a healthy lifestyle? A series of steps can help us have a healthy lifestyle. How? She said that she pays much attention to sleep, diet, and exercise. That sounds interesting. Sleeping enough is very important. I used to stay up so late at night, about 2 a.m. Right? Now I am a night owl. Yeah, but we should go to bed early. And it would be better when we get up early in the morning and do some exercises. I'm so lazy to do that. But if you want to have a healthy lifestyle and better health, you should do that. Got it. How about diet? Do we just eat fruit and vegetables? Not really. We should eat less junk food and eat enough other foods. Wow, that's interesting, but quite hard to follow that. We can do it, Lucy! Watching TV What are you doing? I'm just watching my favorite TV program. You shouldn't watch a lot of TV, Jenny. I know, but I've just watched it 15 minutes after finishing my homework. Every time I come, I see you watching TV. It is a coincidence. Anyway, my little sister is at home. She's addicted to watching TV. It's very interesting. Not only do watching TV for entertainment, but we can also gain a lot of knowledge by watching TV. Really? Sure. You can entertain yourself by watching cartoons or comedy. You can get more information about news, animal world, I don't like watching TV much. Why? I don't know, but I prefer surfing Facebook. I got it. Acupuncture. Do you know acupuncture? Yes, I know that, but I haven't tried it. I'm going to have acupuncture. What happens? Um, do you remember my last injury? Um, when you were running, right? Yes. Although, I have recovered a lot. I haven't been completely normal. So, will you try acupuncture? Um, I want to try another method. Many people around me use this method, and it works. I hope that. It can relieve your pain and is quite useful for someone who has surgery before. Yeah, I know that, and wish it worked for me. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Karaoke
The party yesterday was so amazing. Right? I like going to karaoke the most. That was the first time I went to karaoke. Really? Oh, I see. I was very surprised when I saw you choose all the good songs. Those are the songs I always sing when I am at home. Were there a lot of people when you went before? Not too crowded. Yesterday was the most crowded. The more the merrier, right? That's right. Next time, let's invite the whole class. I think all of them will accept. Many people in my class love to sing. That's right. It looks like there will be a music concert in the karaoke room soon. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Big Brother Do you know Big Brother Show? This name is quite familiar. It is a very famous program on television. What kinds of show does it belong to? Reality Show Actually, I haven't watched it, but I have heard about it. There are 23 seasons at all. Wow, a lot. Right? How is it? Is it interesting? I haven't watched all of them, but it is quite fun. More specifically? Well, the housemates are continuously monitored during their stay in the house. By live television cameras. As well as personal audio microphones. Does it have a winner? Sure! Each week the house gets will vote someone out of the house. It's quite complicated. Um... Oh, it's hard to explain. You can come and see it with me. That's a good idea. Keeping fit. You look so gorgeous, Jessica. Thanks, Mina. How do you keep fit? There are many ways to keep fit, but the one I choose is closely related to healthy lifestyle. That's great! Because some people just prioritize to have a good shape but don't care much about their health. In the long term, it's harmful to your health. I see. So, what do you do? Actually, I just focus on a healthy diet with enough food, sleeping well, doing exercise, and drinking enough water. That sounds easy, right? It can be a bit challenging at first, but when you get acquainted with it, it is easy to follow. Hope so. I will get rid of eating junk food and coffee, although it's so hard. Try your best. I will try to have a body like you. Your body is quite nice, too. No, oh, I'm fat. Don't you see? No way. I think it's good. Stop yawning. Hey, Henry. What? Come on, wake up. You look sleepy. Right. I'm so sleepy right now. Why? You know, I hate maths. Although I tried a lot in the math lesson, I couldn't stand it. Oh, I'm not much better. But we must be awake. Why? I want to take a nap now. The next class is Mr. Alex's lecture. He's very strict. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I forget that. Stop yawning. I will try my best. How about walking a bit? I think it can help you relax and reduce your sleepy. Does it work? I usually do that at home. Okay. I believe in you. A balanced meal. Mom, I have a question for you. Can you answer it for me? What is that? Why do you have a question for me today? Today there was a class in class about meals. The teacher asked me a question. 
What did she ask you? She asked me what a balanced meal was. Can you answer it? No, so I need your help. I see. It is simply a meal that is full of nutrients, and we shouldn't miss anything. What are those substances? Basically, it includes whole grains, healthy proteins, vegetables, fruits, healthy oils, and water. Oh my god, a lot of things! Right. A balanced meal helps you to be healthy. Oh, I got it. Thank you, Mom! See you later. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I am looking for these items. Can I take a look at it, please? Sure. I'm afraid that these items are sold out. That's suck. Can you please wait for me a few minutes? I will check in my stock. Okay. Unfortunately, they were sold out last week. Oh my, I like this item. We are going to restock next week. Do you want me to message you then? That would be great. This is my number. Please text me when it is restocked. Sure, I will. Thank you. See you later. See ya. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? It is pretty good. Yourself? It's all right. I'm a bit busy with my driving course. Oh, are you taking part in a driving course? Is it difficult? Yes. But my teacher helps me so much. When do you have the test? I'm still not really confident to have a test yet. I think I should practice more. Yeah, just do it when you feel good enough. Yeah, I will. Do you have a driving license? Not yet. I am also looking for a class. I can recommend my teacher. She is good. Okay, please send me her contact. Thanks so much. How do you feel about? I heard that you had an interview yesterday? Yeah, I did. It was in yesterday morning. Is everything all right? I hope so. How do you feel about the interview? I think it went well. The interviewers were very impressed with my CV. I'm still nervous a bit because it is a big company. When will you get the result? As expected, it is seven days after the interview. Hope everything is fine. Yeah, however, it is just the first round. Don't be nervous much. I believe in you. How many rounds are there? There are three rounds. Keep in touch. It was great seeing you again after so long. Thanks so much for having me stay. Don't say that. 
You can come anytime. I'd love to. But next time, you should come and see me. That would be great. I am going to have some appointments coming up, so I might come for a week. Awesome! Your flight is being called. You should make a move now. Oh, yes! Thanks for having me and showing me around. It was nothing, really. Don't forget to text me immediately when the flight is landed. I will do it. Take care and see you soon. Bye. Keep in touch. Can you tell me? Hi. I need your help. Hi. What can I do for you? I want to go to this mall. Can you tell me how far it is from here? It's not too far. I can help you to call a taxi, or you can even walk. How many minutes does it take if I walk? Around 30 minutes. There are many interesting on the road, so you can enjoy them. Oh, I think it's a bit far. Can you help me to call a taxi, please? Sure. Thanks so much. Would you happen to know? Did you complete the report? Which report, Mr. James? Oh my God! It's the report for the meeting this weekend. Oh my! My apologies. I am going to prepare it right now. I need to have the draft by tomorrow. Make sure that everything is ready. Sure. By the way, would you happen to know where I can reach Miss Chris? She is home today. You can call her if it's an urgent situation. Do you know her phone number? Yeah, I'll give it to you now. Thanks, Mr. James. I have no idea. Honey, I want to go to the beach this weekend. That's a great idea. Do you know what is the weather like? On that day? I have no idea. Can you please check it on the forecast? Sure. Just one second. Thanks, honey. Oh, it is going to rain on that day. That's suck. Is it going to rain all day on weekend? Yeah, following the weather forecast. Okay, so we shouldn't go. There is only a 40% chance of rain. We still have a chance. Okay, so I am still preparing for it. If the weather is good, we will go. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Dad, 
Look at my shoes. Yeah, your shoes look so nice. I know. I really love these shoes, but they didn't fit my foot anymore. Yes. I still have white shoes, but they make me look like a baby. I'm grown up. Oh, I see. Do you know what I mean? I mean, my pink shoes didn't fit anymore. Yeah, I got it. Can you pick me up early today? My pink shoes are small now. I saw a new shoe store near my school. Sure. Yeah, I love you. What's new? How was your vacation? It was wonderful. It sounds great. Where did you go first? I started the trip in Madrid. It is a beautiful city. But I think I should start in Paris. I have been to Paris. What's new? You're quite busy some recent days. Yeah, I got a new job. Why did you quit your previous job? I loved it at first, but everything changed. <laughs> I was not allowed to do the things I was interested in, so I quit. That's good for you, but you should spend more time on yourself. I know. Everything will be under control soon. Pretty good. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm okay. I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it has been a long time. How long has it been since we last saw each other? I think that we last saw each other three years ago. What have you been doing for the past three years? I have been going to graduate school. What are you majoring in? I am studying the science of psychology. You should easily be able to find a job with that major. I hope so. What about you? I have run my own small business. Description Have you ever been addicted to something and lost your mind? That's not good, is it? There was a time when I was addicted to picking up stuffed animals and doing many crazy things. Would you like to hear that story? Let's get started. We bought a lot of food. Yes, I will make your favorite dish. Yeah, thank you, Mom. But what will you cook? I will cook seafood pizza. Yeah! It looks interesting. A claw machine, right? Yes, it's a claw machine. Can I go there and play? Of course. Let's go. Oh, it's so hard. Mommy, I want to play this. Okay. How to play this game? 
You have to buy coins and one coin for every play opportunity. How much is a coin? Two dollars. Here are four dollars. I can play two times. Thanks, Mom. I got it. Nope. Oh, no. It's okay. You still have a coin. This time, I will definitely do it. Yeah, I made it. Look at this. I said I can do it. You're amazing. Good job. Now let's go home. But, Mom, can I play one more time? You already have a cute teddy bear. But that white teddy bear is also cute. I want it. No, Tom. We have to go now. I'm sure that I will succeed again, Mom. I have no cash right now. I have my pocket money. I want to play again. But Dad is waiting for us at home. Our house is nearby. You go back first. After playing, I walk home. It's enough. Now go home. Yes, Mom. Just a little more and I can do it. I need to move the joystick a little to the right to get that white teddy bear. It's time for lunch. Why did the white teddy bear fall? Is it because it's too heavy? What are you saying? I used all of my pocket money. I'm cleaned out. Seafood pizza is coming. Hey, honey. What's wrong with Tom? I think he's hungry. Let's have lunch. Tom, you have a drawing class tomorrow, right? Yes, Mom. Are your crayons still usable? It's almost broken, Mom. Do you want to buy a new one? How much does it cost? I think it is about $10. Around 2 o'clock, I have to hang out with my friends, so I can't take you to buy crayons. I think the supermarket near our house sells it. I'll take Tom there. I want to go to the supermarket by myself and buy crayons. Oh. Let Dad take you there. No! I'm 10 years old already! I want to do it myself! Okay... So here is ten dollars. After eating, you can go and buy crayons on your own. Sure! I'm done! I have to go now! I'll win that teddy bear on my first turn! I have eight dollars left. I'll buy a box of crayons for eight dollars. You come back. Yes, that bear is mine. Go a little to the right. Come on. Oh, no. You give up? I have to buy crayons. Okay. But... Now my turn! Why haven't you gone to buy crayons yet? I'll go when I won the bear! No! Why? My ten dollars is gone! What should I do? Did you run out of money? Yes, that's the money my dad gave me to buy crayons. How much did you lose? Ten dollars. Only ten dollars? Let me tell you. That's Peter. He lost this game and lost his bicycle. Really? How much did you lose? You don't need to know. I won the stuffed duck. But I don't dare go back home. My mother will yell at me. If I have money, I can pick it up. I can do it.
What are you doing? I'm lying in bed. I'm going to meet my friends now, and I'll stop by a bakery. What kind of cake would you like to eat? Anything, Mom. Okay, and have you bought crayons yet? I have something to tell you. Okay. I haven't bought crayons yet. Oh, but you went to the supermarket. I... I... The claw machine. You used the money to buy crayons to play that game? I almost won. Did you lose all ten dollars? I'm sorry, but it's fine. I had experience. Next time I'll definitely win. Next time. This week, you won't have pocket money. Why, Mom? I don't want you to spend money playing that game again. No, Mom! Your eyes look like panda eyes. Did you not sleep well last night? I'm okay, Dad. What's wrong with him? Ten dollars. I can play five times. This time, I will succeed. Why isn't it working? I have to try again. One more time! I'm out of coins. Come on, my turn. I have experience playing this game. Give me coins. I'll help you win teddy bears. No thanks. I can do it myself. Tom, where did you go? Mom gives me pocket money, please. What will you use this money for? I will buy crayons. Really? Yes. Give me money, Mom. I'll go to buy crayons with you. No, I will buy it myself. Okay. But you have to promise not to use this money to play the claw machine. Hmm. Do you promise? Okay, Mom, I promise. This is your pocket money. Can I believe you? I... Who is calling? From your insurance company? Okay, I'm coming. Hey, do you have money to play? Of course I have. I play much better than you. Let's see. Okay, but you have to promise not to use this money to play the claw machine. Hmm... Do you promise? Okay, Mom, I promise. Start it. Sure! <gasps> Mom, why are you here? And you? Why are you here? I... I... Can we talk a little bit? Yes, Mom. Do you have something to say? Mom, I'm so sorry, I broke my promise. When I saw you here and played that claw machine, I was so disappointed. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't control my actions. I always think about the claw machine. Do you have five coins, right? Yes. Now I'll play that game with you. What? I just want you to know that don't promise if you can't keep your promise. Just tell me the truth. 
We'll solve it together, okay? But when I told you the truth, do you promise not to yell at me? Yes, of course. I stole ten dollars from Dad to play the claw machine. What did you say? You stole? Calm down, Mom. You just said you don't yell at me. All right. I won't let you down again. Okay, now let's play this game together. No, Mom. What? For you. Really? Yes, I don't want to play this game anymore. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Even though I said I wouldn't play that game anymore, but you know, it's not easy to give up. I am a little man, little but still a man, and the man who made a promise will not break his promise. English Dialogue You can improve vocabulary, practice listening, practice speaking daily with English lessons, English conversation. They will help you learn English. Going to the movies. Have you heard of the new Godzilla movie? Yeah. The special effects are far superior to those seen in previous seasons. The plot also seems intriguing. Right? It received a lot of good reviews. Would you like to go see it right now? Great. I'd really like to see that film. When is the next available showtime? There are two showings. The earliest showing is at 3.15 p.m. It takes more than 15 minutes to get to the theater. Okay, let's go to the one in an hour. We'll have plenty of time before it starts. That's okay. In the meantime, we can have a snack. That's a great idea. Getting a ride. Did you get an invitation to Mary's party this weekend? Yes, what's up? Would you be able to drive me there? What's your address? 377 Greenwich Street. I know, um, it's not too far from my house. So, will you pick me up? Sure, so when does the party begin? At 5 p.m. I'll pick you up at 4.15 p.m.? Thank you so much. As a thank you, I'll buy you coffee. That's fantastic. You need coffee. I'm exhausted this morning. What's wrong? I worked late last night. I did not get enough sleep. Perhaps you should have some coffee? I hear coffee stunts your growth. Only if you drink it too often. Coffee can also cause dark stains on your teeth. Don't worry. Just rinse your mouth after drinking coffee. But the weather is too hot to sip coffee. You can also try iced coffee. An iced coffee sounds tempting. Order an iced coffee now. Okay. Banquet attire. What are you going to wear to the dinner tomorrow? I still haven't decided. How about you? I saw a dress I liked. However, it is very expensive. I think you should get a job. However, I don't think I'll we'll have enough money to buy that dress. Yeah, women's clothing is extremely expensive. I think so. Men's outfits may also be pricey. I might be able to rent a gorgeous dress. Great idea. Where will you rent the costumes? There are a few stores on Amazon that rent out dresses. Please give me the URL so I may hire my dress as well. A slow party. How do you feel about the party? Well, the meal is delicious. 
You don't sound very enthusiastic. The party isn't really exciting. It can only be as interesting as you make it. There are not many games here. The music will begin shortly. I'm not sure I know how to dance. Do not worry. First, relax and be comfortable. When I dance, I look like a monkey. Me too, but I still dance. Okay, let's dance together. Where is the bathroom? Excuse me, have you ever been to this house? Yes, what happened? I had a question for the host, but I couldn't find him. What would you like to ask the host? I want to find the bathroom. Oh, it's in the corridor. Which corridor? Just keep walking straight till you see a door. I assumed it was just a closet. No, it's the bathroom. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Anime Expo Is it the anime costume you made? Yes, it is. I can't wait to put it on. Tell me how long it took you to make it. For several weeks. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much. I intend to enter it in the competition. I'm confident you'll win a prize. I'm hoping so. Was it very expensive to make? Yes, it is expensive because of its good quality. I know! Oh, good luck in the competition! Thank you. Dancing I'm looking forward to David's birthday party a lot. I've been eager all week, too. Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to? I enjoy dancing and can't wait to do so. What kind of dance do you do? A variety of genres, mostly hip-hop. Isn't it a difficult dance? Absolutely not. If you want, I can teach you. That would be fantastic, thank you. I think you will like that dance. Just don't mock me if I slip and fall. Yeah, that would be fun. Hanging out. Let's go shopping in the mall. What do you want to buy? I'd want to get a new sweater. Didn't you just buy one last week? Yes, but it was a bit small. Really? Yeah, right. It made me feel like a sausage when I was wearing it. You can go to the store and exchange it for another one. No. I gave my sister that sweater. Are you going to buy the same one? Certainly not. All right, let's go find you a sweater. Sending invitations. Do you know how to get to John's house? No, I don't, what's wrong? I'd want to invite his kid to my daughter's birthday celebration. Wow, how old is your daughter? She'll be four in the next week. Children grow up really fast. Yes. Is your son six years old? Yes, right. So, how do I get the address of John? Text John and ask for his address. Great idea. I also want to invite your child to my daughter's birthday party. Sure, we will definitely come to attend. At a dinner party. You look very happy. What makes you so happy? I'm having a great time, thank you. How do you know the host? We both work for the same company. What do you do for a living? We work with private investors. Sounds like an important job. This job is often stressful. How do you cope with stress? It's easier when you're surrounded by great friends. Yeah, I agree with you. After all, friendship is what keeps the world turning. Amusement parks.
I've never visited a theme park. Amusement parks are really enjoyable. Is there anything to do there? There are many games there. Is the ticket price expensive? Admission is not too expensive. How much? About $15 for adults and $10 for children. Great, I will go there this weekend. A small tip is not to eat too much before going. Why not? Just trust me, it will ruin your day. A trip to Europe. I have a gift for you. Guess what? What is that? I won the lucky draw. Really? I have checked that. It's real. I can't believe that. What is the prize? The biggest one I have ever received. You make me curious about that. A trip to Europe for two people for five days. What? Are you kidding me? Today is not April Fool's Day. I tell you the truth. Do you want to see the tickets? I have got them. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Which country will we go to? German. They will cover all costs. And we just need to pack and enjoy the trip. Oh, it's like a dream. When will we go? From this weekend to Wednesday. Cool. Can't wait. The traditional clothes. You look so pretty in this cloth. What is its name? It's Saris. Can you guess where it is from? This name is quite familiar to me, but I can't remember its origin. It is the traditional clothes of India. Oh, right. I've seen it on television. This is the first time I've seen it in real life. What do you think about it? Very nice, honestly. It is meticulously designed. Right? And how about you? Are you wearing flamenco of Spain? Exactly! You look stunning. Thank you so much. To perform this costume, I learned their country's dance, too. Oh, really? I'm looking forward to your performance. I just learned a little bit. Booking a twin room. Hi, this is ABC Hotel. How can I help you? Uh, hi. I call for booking room. Can I know your name? Linda. Yes, Miss Linda. What time would you like to make a reservation? For three days, from Monday to Wednesday. Okay, what kind of room do you want? We have two people, and I want to have a twin room. I see. Do you have special requirements? For example, room view? Oh, no, I don't care about that. Yes. Uh, I want to ask if the room has air conditioning and Wi-Fi, right? Yes, all of our rooms are fully furnished. All right. Yes, I would like to double check the room information. Miss Linda booked a twin room from Monday to Wednesday and no further requests. Is that right? That's right. Thank you so much. A dinner cruise. This is the first time I had a chance to have a dinner cruise. Same to me. We were so lucky to win a pair of dinner tickets on a cruise like this. Right? Indeed, the dining atmosphere on the cruise is different from usual, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like we're rich people. I've only seen these scenes in movies before. Yeah, didn't expect it to be this great. We both enjoy the view and enjoy the delicious food. The atmosphere is very romantic, too. If it was for a couple and a date, it would be a great place. Yes, 
I will try to work hard and be rich so that I can enjoy luxuriously like this with you many more times. <laughs> Summer Timetable Do you have any plans for this summer? Well, I haven't made any plan. Oh, really? I have a summer timetable. Are you serious? Do you also have a timetable for summer vacation? Right, because I have to make use of it. I have a lot of things that I want to do. And summer is the only time that I can do these things. Okay, I see. How is your timetable? In the morning, I will get up early and exercise. And my goal is to not skip a single breakfast. Good. And then I will study and review. What about the afternoon? Afternoons are when I do the things I like. Play tennis and take piano lessons. That sounds great. Right? An evening is my time to read books and watch TV. How do you see it? A timetable for the perfect summer. Making notes. What are you doing? I'm revising the lessons. You're so hardworking. No, I'm just making some notes. For what? Don't you know? No, I've never made any notes. Really? Making notes for me is the best way to remember lessons. How? When I make notes, I will recall what our teacher said in the class, and writing it down helps me remember longer. That's great. I will try it later. Cool, you can try it. If it works, it will help you a lot, believe me. Okay. Every day when I review, I have a note to summarize my knowledge. It also helps the knowledge to be systematic and easier to review later. Such an effective way to learn. Maybe. A new computer. Oh, Linda, you have a new computer. That's right. I bought it yesterday afternoon. It's really nice. I love its color. Me too. This color is also very rare, so I've been looking for this computer for a long time. Great! Did you buy it yourself? Yes, that's what I'm most proud of. I used my own money to buy it. Really? Yeah, this money came from my part-time job in the summer and my savings. I'm very happy to have bought this computer. What will you do with it? Just for my study and entertaining a little bit. Cool. A favorite subject. Are you learning? Yes, Dad. Good. Quite good, but there are some subjects I can't stand. <laughs> For example, maths and physics, they are my nightmare. When I was a student like you, I also hated math and I was very bad at it. <laughs> now I know why I am bad at math. So, what is your favorite subject? It's physical education. Oh, really? Don't you like it? I don't like it, and don't hate it. I find that subject the most fun because I like to exercise. I don't like calculations. Do what you love to do. Evening activities. What do you do in the evening? I'm quite productive in the evening. Really? Right. First, I have dinner with my family. Everyone does that. An evening is the time for me to finish my homework. I'm so lazy to do that. You know what? After finishing homework, I do some exercises. 
Do you do exercises in the evening? It's weird. No way. Doing some exercises before going to bed can help you to have a better sleep. That's new for me. And then, before sleeping, I read some pages of books. And this way, I can finish a book per month. You're right. You're so productive in the evening. How about you? I'm so lazy after dinner. I just take some rest and prepare for my sleep early. A common meal. Hey, Sarah. Yes? My mom told you to go home and have dinner with us. Oh, really? For what occasion? Nothing, it's just a common meal. I know your mom cooks very well, so a common meal will be very delicious. Maybe. What is your family's daily meal? Quite similar to other families. For example, pasta, rice, steak, vegetables, soup, or other things. Um, I see. They are quite the same as my family. Right. The main dishes are varied. A cute pet. How cute it is, Julia. Is that your new pet? Yes, that's my mom's gift for my birthday. That's great. Oh, it's so cute. Right? When I saw it, I was so surprised and happy. Does it have any characteristics at home? This cat likes to lie next to me when I sleep. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. You know, one day he tore my book, and I didn't take him to sleep with him. He crawled in and lay next to me. It's so smart. The other cute thing is that every time I take a selfie, it comes to me and wants to take a picture with me. Really? Can I see this picture? Sure, here it is. Hometowns. Hi, Linda. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are things? Pretty good. Who's that? This is Lee. Lee, this is my friend James. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? I'm from Seoul, South Korea. Ah, oh, it's fascinating. Is Seoul the capital of South Korea? That's correct. So, how about you? Where are you from? I'm originally from San Anselmo, California. San Anselmo? Is that a big city? No, it's not a big city, but rather a little village in Northern California. There are about 20,000 people there. That's interesting. Yeah. So, what is the population of Seoul? Seoul has a population of about 10 million people. Wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, because Seoul is the largest metropolis in South Korea. How about the nightlife? Are there any good clubs or discos? There are hundreds. Seoul has a fantastic nightlife. So great. Well, it's time for class. See you later. Take it easy. See you soon. Shopping. Come in, Linda. Hello, Jamie. How are you today? Great, thanks. Jamie, this is Allie, my friend. She's from Silver Spring, Maryland. Good to meet you, Allie. It's also a pleasure to meet you. Well, come in and have a seat. Thanks. Can I get you a coffee and a soda? No, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm perfectly fine. Okay, Jamie, we'll be going shopping. Do you want to come with me? I'm not sure. These days, I primarily shop online. Really? Why is that? Because it saves me both time and petrol. But what exactly do you mean? I guess you don't have to drive your car, do you? 
you also won't have to look for parking. The mall is so crowded these days. Yes, but you can't see things very clearly online, and you can't touch them or wear them. You are unable to try them on. Come on, it's a beautiful day. Why do you want to stare at a computer screen? Yes, I see what you mean, but I don't have much money. No worries, you may join us and save money. Ow. We're not going to bring any money or credit cards, and we're not going to spend any money. We're just going to look around. Yeah, we're going window shopping. That's a great idea, and I'll go with you. Missing Family Are you okay? What's the problem? Yes, Lee, why are you so sad? I just read an email from my mother in Korea. Is she in good health? Yes, she is okay, but I miss her and the rest of my family and friends in Korea. I'm homesick. Yes, I occasionally miss my family. I'm the same way. I'm hoping to see my family and friends in California shortly. Lee, how often do you hear from your family? Aside from email, I receive two or three letters every month. So, how about you? Normally, I phone home. Because it's convenient, I normally communicate just via phone. Why don't you call your family? You know, calling Korea is pricey. Oh, call them. Just talk for a few minutes. It's not too expensive. Yeah, right? In fact, you can use my phone card. Thank you very much. Call now, before we go to the movies. You're right. I really need to talk to them, but wait for me. Calling a hospital. Welcome to Favorite Clinic. Please hang up and dial 911 if this is an emergency. Please listen carefully as our menu options for the 24-hour pharmacy have changed. Please press 1 for family medicine. Press 2 for the health clinic. Press 3 to talk with the operator. Otherwise, please hit 0 or stay on the line. I'll press 2. Health clinic, may I assist you? Yes, I have a stomach ache. I'm feeling terrible. Do you want to schedule? Yes, I'd like to see the doctor. Is tomorrow possible? Yes, tomorrow is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. All right. Could you come in tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock? Yes, I can come then. Okay. Uh, should I bring any money? No, only need your ID and your insurance card. I got it. Okay, now could I have your name and insurance number? Yes, my name is Ali. And my insurance number is 000-481-624. Okay, you're all set. Remember to bring your health insurance card with you when you come in tomorrow. Okay. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Thank you very much. Going out. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. Goodbye. Who was that, I wonder? A mysterious person. Come on, tell me. There is a kind man in my science class. He asked me out and I accepted, so... So, after a date, you have a boyfriend? You are kidding. He is not yet my boyfriend. But he will be your boyfriend in the near future. Well, it sounds nice. I need my parents' permission to go out on a date with a boy. Similar to the custom in India. Really? Yeah, one of my college friends is from India. He said that in his culture, parents used to arrange all dates and marriages too. That's fascinating. Hmm, you said your friend is from India? Yeah. What's his name? Varun is his name. Well. I have a friend who comes from India, too. Her name is Parvina. Do you think Varun would like to meet her? Oh, come on. I don't know why you want to be a matchmaker.
What's the difference between them? What are you doing, Dad? I'm writing a letter to a friend. A letter? Yes. Why don't you type? I like writing by hand. So, according to you, what's the difference between them? When you write on a computer, you can correct any mistake. You can write faster on a computer as well. Yes, you're right. So, why don't you type? Writing by hand is a memorable way to touch the people you love. It confirms the importance of a relationship. I'll write you and Mom a letter. Really? Yes, because I love my parents. Aw, honey, we love you too. Cole and Morgan come home immediately on Thanksgiving Day after receiving their mom's call. She informs them that she and their dad are going to divorce. Let's follow the story video below and figure out what is happening. Hey Morgan, I'm here. Long time no see. Yeah, it has been a long time. Let me help you with that. Thank you. How's your life? Meh. How about you? I heard that you got a new job. Not really. It's just a new branch of my company. Ah, oh, it's a good company though. Yeah, so did mom tell you anything? Tell me what, divorce things? Yeah, I was so shocked. So was I. I thought mom and dad loved each other so much. I can't imagine how they will live without each other. This is serious. They wouldn't have told us if they hadn't considered it carefully. We should help them reconcile. Yeah, I agree with you. But first, we need to know their reason. That's right. Mom didn't tell me their reasons. I tried to ask, but she refused to say anything. It's partly our fault. We weren't there with them. If we visited more, we would know the reason and help them handle it. Yeah, we should see them more often. Mom, it's good to be here with you. Yeah, I miss you guys so much. Me too. How are you? You don't look that great. I'm okay. Where's dad? Yeah, where is he? He's at his friend's house. Well, how long has he been there? I don't know. I also don't care about it anymore. Oh, Mom. I will get you some hot chocolate. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Here you are. Okay, now can you tell me everything? Yeah. How did you guys make this decision? It's unbelievable. Okay, I will tell you everything if you want to know. Sure. You are not here, so you don't know how bad he is. I can't bear it anymore. What did he do? He's too lazy and dirty. He always comes home late at night. I know his job is busy, but he could tell me he'll be late, so I don't stay up and wait for him. He even came home drunk. It doesn't seem like him. Yeah, he's never been like that. How do you know? You aren't even here. He doesn't have time for me and this family anymore. He even shouted in my face when I tried to tell him to go to bed early. Have you tried to talk seriously with each other? We aren't kids anymore. 
We should know how to live together, but lately we can't say more than a few sentences to each other. I'm so sorry. We can talk with Dad. He can change. Yeah, I know he's not that type of person. You aren't here. You will never know. I don't want to talk about him anymore. Oh my, the situation seems so bad. Yeah, should we go look for Dad? Yeah, I know some of his best friends. We can drop by. Okay, let's go. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, when did you come home? I could have picked you up at the station. It's fine. Why don't you come home? Because I don't want to. I don't want to see your mom. Why? Don't you love her so much? I did, but we're going to divorce. I should live alone. No way, Dad. All problems have their solutions. Please don't divorce. She always complains about everything I do. If she thinks I've done something wrong, she doesn't shut up about it. But I've done nothing wrong. I got a new position at work, but she doesn't understand that I need to work more. She just wants to argue. It's because she loves you so much. No, you haven't been home. How do you know that? Ah, oh, Dad. I can't bear her character anymore. Okay, but you should come home. We miss you. I miss you too, but... No more excuses, Dad. We came to see both of you. And I don't want to eat Thanksgiving dinner without you or Mom. I will consider it. If you decide to divorce, it may be our last Thanksgiving dinner together. So please go home. Okay, I'll go home for you two, not her. I'm not even in the mood for Thanksgiving dinner anymore. Come on, we need to help them heal that relationship. Okay, what should we prepare? Roast turkey is the most important thing, of course. Anything else, I mean, like side dishes? Mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and for dessert, pumpkin and pecan pies. What about the games we usually play each year? I don't think so. We'll need more time to talk with each other. We've missed a lot of time with them. It's like we don't even know anything about them anymore. Yeah, I understand. This situation is partly our fault. Let's go shopping. Okay, let's make a cozy dinner. Sure. I think we should buy ingredients for roast turkey, and then I'll go home and start roasting it. It will take some time. Then I will buy the rest of the things following your list. Deal. However, I am not really good at choosing vegetables and fruits. Someone at the store can help you. Don't worry. Or I can give you a training course tonight. No way. I'd rather just ask for help. We prepared Thanksgiving dinner by ourselves. Hope it's good. It's our first time making it. Yeah, mom and dad usually make this all together. Hey, do you remember five years ago? Of course, the turkey was so burned out. Yeah, that was so funny. It was your fault. We almost didn't have turkey that year. Mom and dad always know what to do. Like that Thanksgiving when I was 10 and mom was in the hospital? Yeah, we didn't have dinner together that year. It was the only year we missed it. 
Exactly. <laughs> Dad cried the whole night while Mom was in the hospital. Yeah. They love each other so much. I admire their love. Mom? Dad? Did you hear us? Yeah, of course, darling. I'm surprised. Uh, aren't you fighting? Absolutely not. We love each other more than we can say. Ah, uh, I don't understand. You haven't come home for a long time. We made this up to get you kids home. Oh my, I'm so sorry. It is our fault. I'm so sorry. I promise to come home to visit you more often. So do I. We are so careless. I hope you know we love you so much and we always wait for you here. Ooh, so everything's okay. Let's enjoy dinner. Yeah, you did a great job cooking. I'm glad you like it. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Let's make plans for Christmas. Now? Isn't it too early? No, it's the end of November already. I'll get the Christmas tree. It's my favorite part. Voice Talents Henry, who is singing? Is it Peter? Yes, Peter is singing. What a beautiful voice! He has just registered for a voice talent contest. When? One week ago. His turn is going to be next week. Is it the contest of his company? No, it's a big contest. I think you also know about it. What is it? Sing out loud. Oh, holy moly! Yes, yes, that's it. He is practicing passionately. It's only a qualifying round. He doesn't need to be stressed out like it. Every round is as important as the other. Should we come to support him? I will ask him if we can. Great. Hey, Jane. Hey, how's it going? Great. I'm practicing every day. Hope that everything is fine. Henry and I were wondering if we can come to cheer you up that day. Unfortunately, it is a private auditions round. It means that there is no audience. Oh, what a pity. If I can pass this round and enter the next round, I will invite two of you to come. Deal. By the way, I think you should take some rest to protect your voice. Yes, I know. Because we will sing without instrumental accompaniment. I'm a bit stressed out. No worries. I believe you can do your best. Thank you. Why do you choose this song? It's one of my favorite songs. I won the first trophy in my life with it. It must be a lucky song with you. I think so. It is the reason why, after registering, the song popped up in my mind immediately. Cool. Good luck to you. A debate competition. Did you hear anything about the debate contest of our school? Debate contest? Not yet. Can you tell me more details? I found a poster on the information board. There's a debate contest in the coming spring. What is it about? The candidates will be joined in a team of three, then debate about human rights. I need to find three people to register, or three members will be chosen randomly by the board of judges. I don't know exactly. I just take a quick looking when passing it. I don't have any ideas about a team of three. I have no clue. Will you join? I have no idea. I even don't know exactly what it is about. I told you, it's human rights. 
You know, human rights is a big topic, and it is really difficult. Come on. I knew you had research on it. It's a long time ago. The most important thing is that I haven't understood its rules yet. You should meet Miss Lily to ask for more details. I think this contest is for you. Okay, thank you. Hi, Miss Lily. Hi, Emma. I want to ask for some information about the debate contest. Also, I've been wanting to meet you. Do you register? I am considering. It requires a team of three, doesn't it? Yes, but the team members are chosen randomly by the judges. Great! I haven't had any friends to team up with. This is the poster of the contest, including details to register, process, and everything. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can come to my office. Yes, I will consider it. Okay, talk to you later. Thanks, Miss Lily. Goodbye. A running contest. Welcome to our team building event. We will have many activities today, such as check-in at the Flowers Gate, smart bell games, fashion shows, and the most anticipated parts are running contest and beach party. Now, all of you can take some beautiful pictures at the main gate. The running contest is starting in 45 minutes. Take your time. Hey, Sophia, do you join the running contest? Yes. How long is the running track? Two miles along the seaside. I registered because I thought it was only one mile. Come on, just having fun. I want to have a medal. Everyone will have an anniversary medal. Really? Yes, I took a part in it every year. Oh, I see. It is the first time I have had a bonding event with our company. I know, you are a new staff. How many medals do you have? I have four or five. Oh, wow, that's impressive. I've worked for it for six years, but there was one year I could not join with everyone. Why? I was on a business trip. I see. Is running on the sand is harder than the normal track? Of course. Running on sand requires twice the energy as running on a hard surface. Everyone, the running contest is going to start. Everybody, make a line. Ready? One, two, three, go! I'm exhausted. Me too. We do our best. Which medal do you receive? A bronze medal. How about you? I have a silver medal. What is the highest medal? It is a platinum medal. Do you know who received it? It's Ruby. I will practice every day. Next year, I will receive a platinum medal. Try your best. I believe in you. Master Chef Mommy? Hello, Emily. Hello, honey. Hi, honey. Mommy, mommy! I got the golden cup, look! Well done! Tell mommy about today, Emily. I bring our bags inside. Okay, daddy. What is the ingredient you have today? We had cheese, as easy as pie. Wow, it's the ingredient you are the best at. Yes, God bless me. What dish did you cook? I baked shrimp with cheese and sweet corn. 
Good job, my girl. But we had some troubles when I was cooking. What are they? I forgot to heat the oven before cooking. I was very scared at that time. But luckily, I still had plenty of time. I found out the oven wasn't preheated soon enough. The oven only needed to be heated up before 15 minutes. Luckily. Then, when I needed to use the spice, the jar lid was stuck. I tried my best, but I was still not able to open it. Oh my gosh, what happened to me? Come on, not this time, come on. Then I asked Daddy's help. Daddy! Thank you. Dad helped me to open it. He is a superhero today. Everyone in the competition applauded him. So, the trophy today is for both Daddy and you, right? Yes, Daddy is 70%. I think it's 50-50. How many people have received the Golden Cup? Today, there are five. You know, there is a little girl who received the Golden Cup like me. She is only nine years old. She is definitely a formidable opponent. Yeah, she is so cute, so I like her, though. When is the next round, sweetie? It's on next Saturday. Do you know what topic we have the next time? No. What is it? Vegan dishes. Oh, it's a great topic. Though it's hard, actually. Yes, I think so. I should practice more if I want to receive the golden cup of the second round. Okay. But I think you should take a rest now. You must be exhausted today. Yes. Sleep deprived. What's the problem, Ollie? You look so sleepy. You got up early this morning, didn't you? No, oh, last night I attended a birthday party, and I only got about four hours of sleep. What time did the party last night end? About 3 a.m. Well, so why didn't you sleep in the morning? I have a study group meeting at the library. We have a test coming up next week. Are you kidding? Why didn't you study instead of going to the party last night? Oh, it's okay. I studied a lot before the party. Anyway, it isn't such a good idea. Why? Going to a party also helps me relax. It was stated that if you do not get enough sleep after studying, you may forget 30% of what you studied. Especially if you studied something really difficult. Really? Yes, even two days after you study, if you don't get enough sleep, you forget a lot. It's called being sleep deprived. I haven't had enough sleep for two days. That's bad. You need to go to bed earlier tonight. Yeah, I know. Find a job. Ollie, where are you going? I find a place to take a nap. There is a guest room to rest upstairs. By the way, thanks for coming with me to the placement center. Not at all. I'm very happy to help you. You know, I need to find a summer job. Yeah, so what type of job are you searching for? I'm trying to find a job in public health. And you know, last summer I worked part-time at a lab in Maryland. That's fantastic. How about you? What do you want to do? I'd want to work as a freelance writer for a local newspaper. I'd want to be a reporter. Is journalism one of your majors? Yeah, and I had a fantastic job in Mexico City last summer. Really? What exactly did you do? Excelsior hired me to work part-time. This is Mexico's largest newspaper. What exactly do you do there? I wrote local news stories. That sounds fantastic. And someday, I want to write international news stories, then I can travel around the world and find out what people are like in other places. Wow, great! 
you will be traveling all over the world. Yeah, that is also my dream. Anyway, is there anything on the bulletin board for public health jobs? Nah, I don't see anything interesting. You should try looking on the web. There are some great job sites. This is how I got the job in Mexico City. That's a great idea. I'll go to the computer lab right now and try that. See you later. At a food court. Wow, look at all these various places to eat. There are so many options. I'm a vegetarian and I don't know what to eat. Dan, what are you going to eat? I'm finding a fast food restaurant because I'm hungry. I want a cheeseburger with fries. Do you often eat fast food? Yeah, I like to eat fast food. What do you like to eat the most? My favorite is the cheeseburger. By the way, did you go picnic yesterday? Yes, what happened? Pat seems concerned about your health. Why? I'm in good health. However, cheeseburgers are high in fat and calories. Okay, okay. What are you going to eat? I'm going to have some tofu and rice at that Chinese restaurant. Oh, I forgot you were a vegetarian. And I'll eat a salad. Why are you vegetarian? Are you trying to lose weight? I don't follow any diets. I just like doing so. All right. What would you like to drink? A bottle of mineral water. And you? A big Coca-Cola. A big Coca-Cola? There is a lot of sugar and soda. Okay. I'll take a diet cola, which contains no sugar. That's great. And I'll have a salad as well. Arriving in San Francisco. Look guys, up ahead, there's San Francisco. Look at that skyline, we're nearly there. What exactly is it? It appears to be a tower with a triangular shape. This is the Transamerica Building. It is a well-known landmark in San Francisco. Whoa, that's fantastic! It's almost as famous now as the Golden Gate Bridge, the cable cars, Chinatown. I can't wait to visit those places. Especially Alcatraz. Alcatraz used to house the most dangerous criminals in the United States. Now, it's a pretty interesting old jail and a terrific destination to explore. We are going to there tomorrow. That's great, but what's the problem with the car? Yes, why are we moving more slowly? Oh my, I guess we've got a flat tire. The City Day Hello, Alicia. How are things going? Hello, Lee. I'm okay, but I'm really busy. What exactly are you doing? I'm making an Earth Day sign. Earth Day? What is its aim? The aim is to educate people and encourage environmental movements around the world. When is the next Earth Day? The next Monday. Is it done every year? Yes, the first Earth Day was in 1970, and it is now celebrated every year on April 22nd. What do people do on Earth Day? On that day, people talk and learn about environmental issues. For example, Thousands of people came to Washington, D.C. to support clean energy in Italy. Do you mean that Earth Day is celebrated all across the world? Yes, it is. Does Earth Day happen in many countries and what's going on here? There is a lot going on in college. 
such as. There will be a pollution exhibitions in the college's student union. Students will also plant trees across the college grounds. So, what are your plans for Earth Day? I intend to deliver a speech against pollution. What about your sign? What does it imply? Save the environment. That's fantastic, Alicia. Meet new friend. Hello, how are you? Hello, are you Jack? Yes, and you're Peter? Yes, it's me. Ah, uh, we met last week on campus. This is my friend, Ming Li. She has only recently moved into the building. Hello, Ming Li. It's good to meet you. You just call me Ming. Okay. So, you're from? Before I was born, my parents flew from San Francisco to Hong Kong. That's great. Actually, I was thinking of taking Chinese this semester. Maybe you could help me. However, my Chinese isn't that excellent. Listen, Peter, we're starving. Do you want to go out to dine with us? I'm sorry, but I have to go meet my new roommate. Okay, well, see you another day. See you. I don't believe it. Have you heard the story about our high school? Not yet. What is that story about? There's a rumor that our school has a ghost. I don't believe it. Why not? I just don't believe in ghosts. Are you not scared of ghosts? No, I'm a bit afraid of the dark, but not ghosts. Okay, so do you watch horror ghost movies? Yes, I do. But normally I don't feel very scared. You're brave though. I don't dare to watch horror movies alone. Come on, there's no ghost. Why are you so sure? Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't. See? What in the movie is all about imagination? I'm on diet now. Laura, come. I have many snacks and ice cream here. Which one do you like? Wow, so many! But I'm sorry, I'm on diet now. Why are you on diet, Laura? Because I gained one kilo in two weeks. Come on, look at you. You're not even fat. But I'm not thin either. Why do you have to be thin? To look better, I guess? You look very beautiful now, Laura. No need to change anything. Thanks for your kind words. So, will you try some ice cream? Okay, let me eat a bit. Which flavor do you like? Chocolate flavor. Okay, here you are. That's so amazing. Lily, are you busy now? No, come in, Jade. What's up? I will have a first date today. Wow, really? He was the lucky guy. I just met him at the drawing club. Great! So, what can I help you with today? Can you help me do some makeup? You ask the right person. Just count on me. Now, open your eyes! Oh, wow, that's so amazing, Lily. Right? You're so pretty, my girl. I mean, you are a real artist. Thanks for your compliment, but you are already beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> now, I have to go. 
Okay, have a nice date, girl. Thanks. See you. Where are you going to travel this vacation? Summer is coming. Yes, what will you do in the summer holiday? I will travel with my family. Where are you going to travel this vacation? I'm going to travel to Florida. Why Florida? I will visit my grandparents. They are living there. How long will you stay there? I will stay there for two weeks. What do you usually do there when you visit them? We often go fishing. There is a river next to the house. Do you like staying there? Yes, of course. I'm very happy to meet my grandparents and cousins again. Who do you go with? What do you usually do on weekends, Sarah? I usually go camping. Oh, really? Who do you go with? I go with my family, sometimes with my friends. Where do you go camping? We go to a mountain normally. Do you stay overnight? Sometimes only. Usually we go back in the evening. Which equipment do we need to go camping? A tent, food, cooking stuff, and a lighter. I want to go camping too, but my parents seem not to like it. You can join us this weekend if you want. Really? Aw, oh, thanks, Sarah. I will ask my parents first. Okay. How often do you visit your grandparents? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Emily. Where are you going? I'm just going for a walk. And you? I'm going to visit my grandparents' house. Oh, are they living near here? Yes, about a 15-minute walk. How often do you visit your grandparents? Because we live near, I usually visit them three to four times a week. You're lucky. How about you? Do you visit your grandparents regularly? No, unfortunately. They are living very far away. Where are they living now? They are living in California. So, how often do you visit them? Around once every two months. Have you ever tried Italian food? What is your favorite food, Lily? My favorite food is spaghetti. I can eat it every day. Have you ever tried Italian food? Oh, yes, I have. I used to travel to Italy before. Really? You're so lucky. Which food did you try there? I ate mainly pizza. They have so many types of pizza there. What is your favorite Italian food? It's ice cream. Is it gelato? Yes, gelato. Really delicious. Do you know any Italian restaurants near here? Yes, we can go and have dinner together there now. Sure, let's go. What did you dream of becoming when you were a kid? Wow, did your son draw this picture? Yes, he said he wanted to be a pilot. So cute. I dreamt to be a manager in a toy company when I was young. Why? So I can play with as many toys as possible. <laughs> Such a lovely dream. What did you dream of becoming when you were a kid? Oh, I always dreamt to be a firefighter when I was a kid. Wow, big dream. You wanted to help people? Huh. I just thought firemen was cool. 
and I liked the red fire truck. How do you feel now? Hello, Alice. Hello, Beth. It's so nice of you to visit me. How do you feel now, Alice? I feel much better today. What happened to you yesterday? I think I caught a cold. How did you feel yesterday? I had a fever and I vomited. That bad? Did you take medicine? Yes, I took a pill and it got better. Do you know why you caught a cold? I'm not sure. But after showering, I felt a bit cold. Okay, Alice. I hope you will recover soon. Thank you for visiting me. You're welcome. What gift does she like? Hi, Hannah. Are you busy now? No, I'm not. What's up? Next month is my girlfriend's birthday. Do I need your help with the gift? Hmm, let me see. What gift does she like? I don't know. Last year I bought a necklace for her. Was she happy with it? Yes, she was. She's still wearing it until now. I think as long as it's your gift, she will like it. But I want to give her a special gift this year. How about handmade stuff? Great idea. I will think more about this. Thank you a lot. At the breakfast shop. Breakfast is very important for everyone. Check out this video and watch two friends go on a weekend breakfast. Hi, Ben. Why do you call me so early? No, Tim. It's 8 o'clock. You will be late for work if you still lie in bed. Oh my god. Really? I have to get up now. Thank you for waking me up, Ben. <laughs> Come on, Tim. You haven't known that today is Saturday? You don't have to go to work on the weekend, right? Oh, no. I forgot it. <laughs> I am still sleepy. I had to complete a lot of tasks yesterday, so I was very tired. Let's enjoy your weekend now. I want to meet you, so would you like to go out together? Yes, of course. We can go out all day because I'm free today. So I will come to your house first and we can go out later. Yes. I will get up now. See you at 8.30? Hello, Tim. Are you there? I'm here. Aw, oh, Tim. Are you still sleeping? I thought you have waked up at 8. But I still want to sleep, so... I decide to continue. It's Saturday, Ben. <laughs> No problem. You can do anything you want. I will make coffee, so do you want one? Yes, make me one coffee. I will do personal hygiene. Thank you, Ben. Ah, oh, no, Tim. There is nothing in your refrigerator. Would you like to eat breakfast outside, together? That's a great idea. I'd love to. Okay, Tim. We will come to the breakfast shop nearby your house where we ate last time. Do you remember it? Yes, of course. Let's go there now. I'm so hungry. I will eat noodles, because it is my favorite food here. 
Would you like to try it? Hmm. I need a menu to choose what I will eat. Could you take me to the one nearby you? Here you are. You can eat a sandwich or a hamburger. They are also very tasty. I think I will try the new dish. I want to do special things today. I want bread with peanut butter. <laughs> do you want fruit juice like apple or orange? Yes, one apple juice. Thank you. Okay, let me order. Excuse me? Yes, I'm here. What would you like to eat? I would like apple juice, orange juice, one noodle, and one bread with peanut butter. Okay, we have a small size, medium size, and a big size for bread. What size would you want to choose? I would like a big size of bread because I'm very hungry now. Thank you. Okay, sir. Please wait for some minutes. We will prepare your dishes for you. And I will bring them out for you soon. Here is your food, please. Enjoy your meal. Wow, they look so great. Let's eat now. Okay, Tim. Mmm. This bread is so delicious. The sauce is quite spicy and salty. I love this dish. Do you want to try it, Ben? No, Tim. I will order it next time. Besides, you are hungry, so you should eat them all. By the way, how are you these days? I'm so busy at work last week. My old colleague quit his job, so I had to perform his tasks. I worked very hard, and finally, I had done everything yesterday. I'm so proud of myself last week. And you, Ben? How about you? My work was very smooth last week. My project had completed, and I am finding new ideas for the new plan. Good, Ben. You too, Tim. Anyway... What will we do after having breakfast? How about playing a game? We haven't played games for a long time. Great idea. Okay, Tim, let's eat quickly. I'm so excited about it. Excuse me? We finished our meal and now would like to pay, please. Yes, sir. Let me check your order. Your meal costs $20. Here is your bill. Would you like to pay by card or cash? I have enough cash here. Let me pay for this breakfast. Great, Tim. Actually, I don't have cash here. I will pay for the lunch. Your money is here. Okay, thank you for having breakfast here. Good luck and hope to see you again. Did you say that you will pay for the lunch, right? Don't you remember that I eat a lot? Are you sure about this? Oh, I forgot it. But no problem. I will pay for it. Good job, Ben. Now let's go play the game at my house. I bought a PS5 last month, and there is a lot of awesome games on it. Okay, let's go. Do you want to drink coffee? I had made it before we went out and taken the refrigerator. Yes, I think we should relax a bit. We have just eaten and should not be active like playing games. Okay, Tim. Can you play music? It will make us chill more. Of course. What song do you want to listen to? I want it that way, of Backstreet Boys. I love this song. Okay, Ben. Ah, Tim. 
Have you heard about Peter's party? Yes. Peter invited me last Thursday and I did agree. It will be held next week, right? Yes, it is. I even know that Louis won't attend this party. He said that he will have a lot of things to do next week and he can't join us. He was very sad about that. Hmm. Don't you know that Peter and Louis have been mad at each other for a while? I think he doesn't join the party because of this reason. Really, Ben? Yes. Both Peter and Louis have a crush on Sarah, and they have been rivals ever since. Do you know who is a couple with Sarah now? Peter or Louis? It's Louis. <laughs> oh, poor Peter. Anyway, the party may not be as vibrant as we expect if Louis won't come. He is very funny, and I also want to ask him about her new girlfriend. Yes, I think so. Hey, are you ready for playing the game? I think we have rested enough. Okay, Tim, let's play the game. Be careful, because I won't condescend as before. <laughs> okay, Ben. Hello, I'm home. Hello, how are you today? It is a busy day. I suddenly had to go to the meeting. Have you eaten anything? Yes, I have. So take a shower, then come here and have some fruit. Okay. It's really comfortable after taking a bath. Here, have some fruit. Thanks. What are you watching? It's a music program. Oh, here's the song, Stay With Me by Sam Smith. Do you know him? Know him? I am a huge fan. Really? I am also his fan. Amazing. He is an extremely talented singer who has a great voice. You're right. I find his music very touching and inspirational. He is a recent world phenomenon. Yep. Anyway, you know what? What? Our idol is going on a tour. <gasps> really? Gosh, I would love to meet him in real life. Me too. Let's go to the concert together. I'd love to, but... But what? I'm worried that concert tickets will be very expensive. Well, surely it will be expensive. He's very famous. Typically, Sam Smith's tickets can be found for around $150. It was quite expensive. We should make a savings plan, okay? Good idea. What is the date of the concert? October 25th, and the tickets will be sold on 15th. Oh, so we have two weeks to save money. Okay, I have saved some already. Great, now it's time for bed. I'm not ready to go to sleep. I'm not tired. You need to get some rest as you have to get up early in the morning. It's impossible for me to get to sleep right now. Try listening to some soft music. I've tried that before. It really doesn't work. Just close your eyes and try not to think. I'm not sleepy. Maybe I'll watch a movie. I found a good one. You should always sleep early at around 10 p.m. to keep your body healthy and fresh. Don't worry. I'll get to sleep in a little while. Remember that you have to go to work early tomorrow. I know, I know. I promise I'll go to sleep soon. All right, up to you. Oh, oh 
no, it's nine already. I am sorry, I am so late. What was the problem? You have been late four times in the last two weeks. Is this going to be a continual problem? I'm so sorry. I really got unlucky this morning. Being late once in a while, you can say bad luck. But you are late frequently. It shows that you are irresponsible. I'm so sorry, manager. So just follow the rules. If you are late, you will have to pay a fine. Yes, I got it. Pay a fine of $20. Here you go, manager. I don't want this to happen anymore or else. Perfectly clear. I will not be late again. Okay, get to work now. Yes, sir. Hey, why are you always so late? Yesterday, I watched a movie all night. So I overslept this morning. You should go to bed early. I know. You won't have enough money to pay the fine if you still go late like that. Yeah, I know, but the movie was great. What movie did you watch? I watched the movie Sandman. Anyway, you should go to bed early and only watch movies in your free time. Well, I have a day off tomorrow, so I'll watch another movie tonight. You are such a movie-holic. What can I say? A good movie with some snacks makes a perfect night. Talk about snacks. I will need to buy some more. Oh, I'm speechless. You look very happy. What's the news? I am very happy now. Tell me, I hit the best sales record this month. Oh, great, congratulations. And I was rewarded by my boss. You are so excellent. My boss gave me $100. Well, a pretty big amount. Right. But you deserve it. You have worked very hard in the past time. Thanks for your compliment. But hey, what is that? Uh, that bag of snacks? I bought it. Why do you buy so much junk food? Tonight I will binge watching. Huh? Again? You slept very late yesterday. Tomorrow is my day off. You should go to bed early instead of going to bed late. You know sleeping late is very harmful to health. Okay, okay. Tomorrow is my day off. Tonight I want to relax by watching a movie. Fine. Hello? Amanda, where are you now? I'm at home. What's wrong? Get up now. You are having the keys to the storage. Oh no. What time is it? 7 a.m. Can I come in the afternoon? <gasps> are you kidding me? Bring the keys here right now. Okay, okay. Where are you now? I'm having a traffic jam. Oh my God. God, today is a bad day. <sighs> I will continue to sleep. What's that noise? Oh my God. Can this day get any worse? Hi, can I help you? I want to buy skincare products. Please tell me your skin condition. 
Yes, I have a lot of acne on my face. And dark circle under my eyes. I will introduce you to our new product. It is very good in treating acne. Great! Is it expensive? It is $60. Okay, I will take it. And for your eyes, I recommend this under eye cream, the best selling product in our store. Okay, these are the right products for your skin. Great! All your products total $125. So expensive! They are all the best products, extremely safe and effective for your skin. Okay. Hey, Amanda. What's wrong? You look sad. Kate, I need your help. Tell me, could I borrow you some money? Sure. How much do you need? $150. Huh? $150? That's a lot of money. Why do you need so much? I want to buy tickets to the concert. Where is your money? Well, I was fired for going to work late. Then I spent some money on the snacks. And I bought skincare products. That's the effect of sleeping late. I know, I really regret it. You should sleep before 11 p.m. from now on. I promise to sleep early from now. Please lend me money. I'm sorry, I don't have that much. What about your reward from work? My bonus was given to my brother to pay for school. Oh no, what do I do now? Here is a lesson for you. Go to bed early. I remember, I'll never do that again. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.